I'm standing here in front of Japan's biggest lake, Lake Biwa. It has some very significant historic importance because, for example, the castle of Hideyoshi is located just here on the other side of the camera. But Lake Biwako is much more than nature and history. It is Japan's biggest water reservoir and provides drinking water for over 10 million people. So, for example, if you come to Japan on a holiday or for work or whatever reason, and you go to Kyoto or Osaka and you open the tap, the water that you will see that comes out, that you will probably drink or use for showering, comes from this place behind me. Now, what I want to do today is to take some water samples and to view them under the microscope. I want to show how much effort was put in to turn this water behind me into some viable drinking water. Along the way, we will probably discover some very nice and interesting creatures. I'm very look I'm I'm really looking forward to explore the drops of water contained in the lake with you together under the microscope. Thank you so much for following me along. Let's dive right in. In order to take the sample, I'm going to use a plankton net with about 25 micron width. So let's see what we find. I hope it will be a rich harvest. After the first pass, you almost don't see any difference. But let me show you how the color slowly changes and we get more and more microbes in here. Now I'm trying to take out as much water as possible and to compress as many different creatures as possible into this tiny bottle here. Maybe now you can see how the color changes slowly into a brownish tone. Okay, and here is our next sample. Let's bring it home and let's see what we can find under the microscope.
thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of new video style and I hope also the creatures were a kind of surprise to you. So please follow me along to the next video and uh, let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious.